Ahoy all! Today, as requested, we will be talking about the discovery vessel present on first voyage of Captain James Cook. The vessel in question is HMS Endeavour. In March 1768, Royal Navy purchased a bark called Earl of Pembroke in order to send her on the expedition partially funded by Royal Society of London. The expedition's aim was to observe transit of Venus over the Sun, which was happening next year. The commander selected for carrying this task happened to be Captain James Cook, so Earl of Pembroke was renamed HMS Endeavour and refitted in Deptford. Bark was Cook's preferred type of ship because if it would ground in a shallow waters, there was much more better chance to get out of it. This trade proved to be useful when Endeavour ran aground at the reef later named after her, the Endeavour Reef. Cook's destination had been islands of Tahiti, and his aims had been to watch the transit of Venus, obviously, but also research fauna and flora of Tahiti. That's why he had on board multiple scientists and naturalists. Cook set sail on 26th August of 1768 from Plymouth. This voyage, later called the first Cook's voyage, was made by just one ship, HMS Endeavour. That differs it from the other two, where the fleet was composed from at least two ships. HMS Endeavour passed Cape Horn on 25th January 1769, and on 13th of April the same year, they anchored at Tahiti. The observation of the transit of Venus over the Sun were successful, and after three months spent on Tahiti, Cook sailed away. HMS Endeavour then sailed on New Zealand, whose coast Cook carefully charted. After six months of it, Cook realized that New Zealand is composed from two islands. The accuracy of Cook's map of the New Zealand's coast is fascinating cartographs, even today. In the April 1770, Endeavour anchored in Botany Bay, as naturalists on board the Endeavour called it. After some time there, Cook went to map a coast again, but this time it was a coast of New Continent, Australia. Over six weeks, he was able to chart 1,300 miles of Australian east coast. Cook named that land, of which coast he mapped, New South Wales. HMS Endeavour returned back from this exhausting voyage in July 1771. Well, after her glorious voyage around the world, she was used as a storeship and made her three voyages to Falkland Islands. Then she began fulfilling her original purpose and engaged in a coal trade in North Sea. In 1790, HMS Endeavour was bought by a French firm, renamed on La Liberté, and sailed under the French flag. Three years later, she was sold again, this time in order to be scrapped. Because she was an ex-Endeavour, some of her timbers were preserved and they are now in a small museum in Colonel in Botany Bay, New South Wales. Even when Cook made another two voyages to Australia with the ships of same type as Endeavour, HMS Endeavour herself never really got a chance to be a part of that. But she will forever be remembered as the discovery vessel which led the Cook's first voyage. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it and, as me, learned something new. If you have any ideas of what other ship I should cover, leave your suggestions down below. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. I hope to see you next time.